Well, it turns out that making it in the Bay requires a heavily hourly wage. Tonight, an intimidating new look at what you need to earn to afford the average rent or mortgage in the South Bay. Our business tech reporter, Scott Budman, breaks down those new numbers for us. Like many young people, Audrey Atkins would love her own place. I would like to be able to afford something out here. I really love the Bay Area. But here's what Audrey is facing in San Jose. To rent the average two-bedroom apartment, the city now estimates you need to make $54 an hour. Looking to buy an average home? you need to make at least $123 an hour. So I don't make $54 an hour, <laughs> um, so I can't afford rent, I can't afford to buy a home. And she's not alone. We're selling it and I'm moving to Idaho. Why are you moving? Because it sucks here. Lots of people are buckling under the increasing price of just about everything, from food to rent to gas, and of course, the oldest problem in the Bay Area. We are suffering from a chronic housing shortage. Jeff Anderson tracks rents at Zumper. He says the traditional wisdom of not spending more than 30% of your income on rent has not applied here in a long time. The number of people who are severely rent burdened or rent burdened at all, it's at an all time high, especially after 2021. But Audrey already knows that. And then who wants to pay $1,500 for a bedroom and you get like maybe a microwave and like you have to deal with roommates that, you know, who wants to deal with those things? Another result of all this, the number of permits for accessory dwelling units has shot higher recently here in San Jose. The city says the number of ADU permit applications has more than doubled in the last two years. In San Jose, Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News.